Welcome to the Plant Food Federation channel. If you are new here, it's great to have you. If you've been here before, you know the drill. Welcome back and thanks for continuing to watch these videos. So we're heading into the holidays and who doesn't like dessert? We all love dessert and dessert is something that absolutely has to be on your table over the holidays. Whether it's Christmas or it's Boxing Day, it's New Year's Eve or it's New Year's Day, you are wanna gonna have dessert on the table. Now, I love crumbles and I normally love to eat an apple crumble or a blackberry crumble. Growing up in the UK, those were my faves. But this year, well, it's 2020 and I'm spending Christmas in Nigeria this year. So I thought, you know what? I still want to enjoy my crumble over the holidays, but let's make it tropical. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a pineapple and mango crumble that you are going to love. The flavors are amazing. The sweetness from the fruit is everything and it is so easy to make. Now I'm going to throw coconut in there as well because pineapple, mangoes, and coconuts all go together. And I'm gonna to top it off with some coconut yogurt, or you can use vegan ice cream if you have access to that. So I'm gonna head into the kitchen so that I can show you how to make this crumble. But while I do that, in case you haven't done so already, you should have done it already, look below this window, you'll see a subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and go and tap the notification bell right next to it. That way you'll get an alert every time new videos go up on this channel and we can stay connected. And you're gonna to wanna to stay connected because I'm gonna be sharing some more recipes with you over the coming weeks on things that you can place on your holiday menu whether it's Christmas, Boxing Day, New Year's Eve or New Year's Day. So let's get to making this crumble. So let's start with the crumble topping. I will leave the recipe for this in the description box below. So first off, I'm going to start by grating some fresh ginger. I love adding fresh ginger to the topping. It just has a really strong flavor, but not overpowering. So I'm then going to add in my mix of gluten-free oats and gluten-free flour. I'm going to add in some raw cane sugar and some shredded coconut because I really want that tropical flavor to come through and then I'm going to add in some zest of orange, some salt and some vanilla extract and last I'm going to add in the plant-based butter and then I'm just going to get my hands in here and sort of crumble this together. You want to make sure that the butter is worked through the rest of the ingredients and that you have sort of this crumbly texture at the end of it all thing about the crumble topping is that you can make it in a big batch and store some of it in the fridge for making another crumble later but this is it the crumble topping is pretty much done so let's get to this filling so here are all the ingredients for the filling it's pretty simple and you can swap these fruits out with any other fruits that you would like to use so I'm gonna start by cutting my mango and getting to the mango flesh now instead of peeling it I am just gonna cut along the two sides of the mango seed on the inside and look at that beauty and then I'm just going to cut through lengthways each side of the mango and then I'm going to cut again through the side so basically I'm making cubes of mango within each mango slice the magical part is you just pop it inside out look at that it's beautiful so now I'm just going to cut these into a bowl so just cut them off and they're quite big so I ended up slicing some of them in half so here's the mango so let's move on to the pineapple so I'm just going to top and tail this pineapple this is called a kotonu pineapple it's smaller but it's quite sweet it comes from Bene Republic across the border from Lagos which is really isn't that far so I'm just going to slice it down the sides and once I've done that I'm just basically going to clean it up now don't worry I'm going to use all these pieces I'm going to throw them into a juicer and make juice out of them I'm also going to boil the skins and make another drink called Zobo with it. So nothing goes to waste. I'm going to go ahead and slice the pineapple. Then I'm going to cut these slices into cubes as well. I'm going to try to make them the same size as the mango cubes. That way they cook evenly. 
Now it's time to bring the filling together. So I've got a bigger bowl here because I needed a bigger one. And I'm just going to pour in the pineapple slices and the juice. The juice will cook through in the oven, so don't worry about that. Then just pour in the mango cubes as well and just give these two a good mix before you add in the rest of the ingredients. Here we've got vanilla extract so you want to pour that in. I'm also adding in some agave syrup. You can use any liquid or dry sweetener of choice and also some tapioca flour. You could also use cornstarch if that's what you have. So the filling is done. I have two baking dishes here so I'm going to spoon this filling into two baking dishes. You can use a single baking dish if you like. It's totally up to you. Then you'll, all you need to do is to cover the fruit with the crumble topping. Just make sure that you cover all the pieces of, of fruit because they will cook through and sort of pop through the crumble in the oven. You want to place these in the oven and bake them for about 20 to 25 minutes. It's time to plate this dessert. Look at the topping on this. It's crunchy, it's crispy, it's golden. Actually, the topping is my favorite part of the crumble. I'm just going to go ahead and put a couple of spoons of this in a bowl. Now, there's nothing fancy about this dessert, but it just tastes absolutely amazing. I'm also going to serve it with some coconut yogurt on the side, just to cut the sweetness a little bit. If you've got vegan ice cream, vanilla works really well as well, or a cashew cream you could try that also and there you have it it's our holiday dessert our tropical crumble a crumble to love now if you like this video remember to give me a thumbs up hit that subscribe button if you haven't hit it already it's been great sharing this recipe with you stay tuned because I have some more holiday recipes coming up and until next time just remember that eating more plants is always a good thing to do